Hey everybody, it's Christine. Today I am up with a new layout for the scrap room using the double shot kit. And I am using the Paige Evans Go the Scenic Route collection. As you can see, it's very colorful. And based on the title, it has a little bit of a travel theme. Um, not, not so over the top though that it has to be used for travel at all. Um, so... With that in mind, I really loved this map paper. And so what you see me doing right now is I marked out where I want to put my pictures and I am cutting out a spot for that and just using my paper trimmer to do that. Um, all I'm doing is just kind of giving myself a visual. I'm not really sure at this point yet whether I'm going to put my pictures behind or in front of those actual spots that I'm cutting out, but I wanted to get a visual look for where they were gonna land. I am gonna use pictures of all four of my kids, and you can see they're not gonna be super huge, but this is a good way to make it a multi-photo layout in spite of the fact that I've got a really big background already built into the patterned paper. So I did go ahead and print my pictures out um, a, on a smaller scale. They are all two by three. So I got four of them onto one four by six printout. Now that I've got my holes cut in the patterned paper, you can kind of see how I'm going to fit my pictures in there. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to figure out whether I wanna put the pictures behind or whether I want to put a little white square over the top and mat the pictures. Um, I think I'm leaning towards the matting for a couple reasons. Number one, my squares are not perfect. Uh, I'd like to say they are, but they aren't. And second of all, the pictures with the color and stuff, I feel like they need that white matting. So um, it was kind of unnecessary for me to cut those holes completely, but it still gives you an idea of something you could do with that. And maybe you're more precise than me or have more patience than I do and you can get it just perfect. Um, so carrying on, um, this is a very pink fuchsia colored paper. Very, 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 <laughs> very pink. <laughs> Um, so it's kind of out of my normal realm that I go down with my boys. Uh, but since I've got a girl on there too, I knew I could make it work. But definitely it's, it's definitely pretty in your face for sure. And so I'm going to try and figure out now what I can do to make sure that it has still a masculine feel to it. Now, what you just saw me do is I just secured this onto another piece of cardstock. And that was primarily just because it was a little bit shifty. Um, it had lost its good flat shape. And so I wanted to strengthen the paper a little bit. Um, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut down my pictures. These are all pictures of my kids on what we'll call the first day of school. We homeschool, we homeschool year round. So there's really not totally a first day of school, but I did want to take their picture and, you know, look mid to late August <laughs> and kind of record the start of a new academic year. And so this paper, I felt like, I always feel like travel paper works kind of well for school stuff too, just because you're kind of traveling through the year, um, that kind of thing. And so <laughs> maybe I'm stretching it a little bit, but this is not the first time that I've used travel paper for a back to school layout. Now that said, I don't have any back to school embellishments that are gonna work on this. So I'm gonna just make it work with what I've got and I'm going to end up doing some journaling on the backside that tells the story of starting a new school year, etc. cetera. Um, for my title and for my embellishments, I am gonna use a cut file that I'm just gonna cut out using a font called the John font um, that has the center cut out already and I wrote out my world because I felt like that worked really well with the map and it's pretty true they are my world um especially as their teacher like I, I don't have anything else besides them like my days are focused on them my world is focused on them and so I thought it worked nicely for the start of the school year layout and then I'm going to add some little ephemera pieces underneath each of them in different colors to bring in some additional color. You can see that I did my title with that aqua paper that is pretty monochromatic and so it worked nicely for that with a white 
outline on it. I am going to pop this up using some 3D foam adhesives so it gets some extra dimension in there because right now things are very, very flat. And so popping up that title will make things come up just a smidge. Then I'm going to just start to finish things off. Like I said, there's not a lot on this layout. It's really very simple. I did add some flowers by each of their pictures. And then I'm going to use some of this same aqua colored paper. I'm going to tear off a little bit and use it along the top and bottom to bring some additional color into the top and the bottom of the layout. But really a very simple layout. Um, there's not a ton of elements, etc., going on. And I worked pretty straightforward from the kit aside from using a cut file. Now, if you don't have a cut file machine, you could certainly use letter stickers for your title or make it work another way. I just felt like I wanted something really big and so that's when I tend to go to my cutting machine when I want a really big, bold title. Um, and so it worked well for that. Finally, I'm gonna add some Nouveau drops and I'm gonna go heavy on the white Nouveau drops today, really surrounding, putting dots all around the map and using those as a big embellishment because there's so little going on at this point. And this will just add some dimension, some texture, and a, just a different level of interest. So thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to hop on over to the scrap room, check out all of her kits for this month. And if you're not already part of her Facebook group, join the scrap room group as well for lots of challenges, fun, and fresh ideas. We will see you again next time. Have a great weekend, everybody.